Hi everyone, it's Diane. I'm about to start on uh, a new project. Mm, my grandson has a friend who is turning 14 um, this month. And she has been such a kind and encouraging friend to him that he wanted to give her a gift and he wants to give her a prayer journal. And so I am going to make a prayer journal for him to get to his friend. So the journal kits that I have um, for prayer journals are this one from TLC Creates Vintage and this one from Tsunami Rose. I'm going to combine them and I'll be making three journals, one signature journals out of these. So two will go in my shop. So I didn't know if I don't really know her that well as far as her taste. And um, my grandson son said he doesn't really know what she likes either because she talks more about other people than about herself. That's, that's just how she is. She's the most encouraging young lady I've ever met. Um, so I'm just going to make these because this is what I have. And I've decided to use these white envelopes as the cover. Let me make sure that this is the right size. I didn't, I trimmed down the TLC ones and then I decided to go with some more color too since she's a young girl. So I did print these. I haven't trimmed the edges of them but I just want to see how they fit in here. I'll probably use, <coughs> sorry, some scrapbook paper too. Yeah, that should be good. TLC pages are a little bit smaller. So what I want to do is put some napkin on the outsides of these. Um, get these out of the way so I don't ruin them. So these are the napkins that I picked out um, to decide between. Now, Zoe's uncle is a friend of the family. Well, Zoe is too. And he... Um, loves Volkswagens and I don't know how she feels about Volkswagens but I just thought that looked like a fun um, design to put on for a 14 year old I don't know so I think I will make one with this and then maybe one with bunnies and um, I'll let Adam choose which one he wants to give her then I also just have some daisies and flowers and butterflies and roses which will probably go on the ones for my shop I'm only making three, but I have all these choices. Somebody sent this to me and it's so fun. So I'll probably just use one image of the bus here. So I need something else to cover the rest of the envelope. Guess I better get my napkins back out because I wasn't thinking. Let's see what we have. Napkins or tissue paper. I might go with tissue paper if I don't have napkins that go with that Volkswagen. I have this black and white striped. That might be fun. That's tissue paper. That one might be fun. This one just came wrapped around some stuff in a Happy Mail. That's not tissue paper, that's a bag. That doesn't belong in there. But I have this polka dot, that might be fun. take a quick look at the napkins. These are napkins that um, were sent to me from Truly All Supplies. I forgot her name. But I think the tissue paper is going to be a better option to go with the Volkswagens.
Something like this would work. We're just going to go with tissue paper. So let's cover the envelope with tissue paper first. Which one do we want to use? This black and white stripe one would be very striking, wouldn't it? cut it a little bit bigger than is needed. I can trim it. This is a sturdier tissue paper than you usually buy for wrapping gifts. Where's my line? Okay, let's get to work. Now I'm going to dilute my Mod Podge and I've had people ask me questions about that. They ask me why I do it and what is the ratio. Well, why I do it is because you don't need it to be as thick as it is, especially when you're doing napkins, and it makes it go further if you dilute it. The ratio is I don't know because I don't measure. I just pour some in. I'm going to pour in quite a bit because I'm doing three covers. I don't usually pour out this much at a time. Whoops. Um, and I am just going to add some water. That's all I do. With a napkin, it can be thinner maybe than you would use with regular paper. And I'm using tissue paper. So I don't probably don't want to go quite as thin as I would with a napkin. So I hope it doesn't irritate people that I can't give them a straight answer. But I don't measure. You can see how thin that is. It's quite thin. But I think this will work for tissue paper. I have some large paper on the floor so that I can set things down there to dry without getting Mod Podge on my carpet. I wish I had a craft room without a carpet. <laughs> but I'm grateful for a craft room. Not complaining. Okay, so I'm just going to start by getting rid of this stick for one thing and I'm going to just paint Mod Podge all over this I'm using a foam brush but you can use any kind of a soft brush Press this down 
onto the wet Mod Podge and wrinkles are okay. They don't bother me at all. That is just part of this technique. Try to get the edges down so they're not coming up loose. I'm going to wipe up. I should have a wet, wet wipe around here. I just used one and it shouldn't be dry yet. But I don't know where it is. So I'll get a new one. I'll kind of wipe the Mod Podge off of my mat as I go. Now I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper. You've probably seen this technique before but I wanted to create these prayer journals with you watching. I really miss it when I don't get to be creative. I've had a couple of days of um, paperwork. I got my taxes done. Just picked up my completed taxes today, so I have to um, actually write the checks and get them in the mail. So I had to do all that and then I was working really hard on getting some stuff in my shop. I listed some uh, cookbook journal kits in my shop. And it's a nice way to pass on some of my excess supplies, including book covers. I have way more book covers than I'll ever use. And it is kind of creative to put the kits together, but not the kind of creative I want to do. Um, so I appreciate being able to do that. It's a lot of work to do it, and I miss being creative. So I'm going to set this down here. So anyway, I'm glad to be able to do this. I should be um, kind of cleaning up my craft room a little bit. I tidied up this table <laughs> because that's what I'm using right now. But I just I didn't want to take the time because I want, I need to be creative and I have other things happening today that I have to do and go to and so I'm making sure some creativity happens today. So I'm just wetting around where I want to tear the napkin. This bus is very close to the edge of the napkin and I want to make the napkin look torn but I don't want to lose the bus so Wish me luck on that one. This is just water, by the way. And I probably should have torn the layers apart before I did this, but I guess it doesn't matter. Make sure I get it on the front half of the journal. So the back half of the bus tore a little bit, but I'm just patching it together. It's fine. Put some Mod Podge over it. So if Adam doesn't want to give this to Zoe, if he chooses the bunnies instead, I don't want to make this into a prayer journal because I could use it as a like a funky 70s journal. So I think I will send him a picture. I just went to breakfast with him and his mother this morning. He doesn't have school today. Um, so I'll send him a picture on, on his phone of both covers and see which one he chooses and then I'll just turn that into a prayer journal. Ok, 
Okay, there will be more on this. I'm not sure how else I will finish this off, but at least I've got the Mod Podging done. So we can move on to some of the other ones. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't peel it. Hopefully that'll all stick. If it doesn't, it's just one envelope and one piece of the napkin, I can redo it. But I didn't peel the layers off of that napkin. Okay, so learn from, do as I do, not as I say. We must remove the layers. You're probably all shouting at me to do that and I didn't do it. And I'm gonna do the bunny one. And this one will just cover the entire envelope. I'm gonna peel the layers before I go any further. This is the crafty Irina trick. Put a piece of tape down and pull it up and you get one layer. Actually, I, this may only have one layer. Yeah, that may be the only layer I have to remove. Let me just see. Doesn't look like there's another layer here. Oh, yes, there is. It's so much easier to just put a piece of tape on it and then instead of trying to find the edge. Okay. Bunny heads. My grandson, the littlest, littlest grandson, would be so upset. He watches me cut pages when we're working on his journal. He watches me cut pages to fit into his journal, and he's so concerned about what I'm going to cut off when it's his animals. I'm going to have him this afternoon for a couple hours anyway, so I'm thinking we might work on his new glue book, putting some things in his new glue book. One kind viewer sent him a glue book that's personalized for him, and she and another viewer sent him, maybe two other viewers sent him some pictures, mostly of animals, because he loves animals so much, for his, for his junk journal. It's actually a junk journal, but he kind of uses it more like a glue book. Now we can lay the bunnies down. And of course, I'll have to put something on the inside of these envelopes also once this side dries. Okay. Let's do one with some daisies. I think these daisies will look nice with the kits that I'm using.
went out and took a walk yesterday at, oh, probably early evening. It was nice temperature wise, but the, the wind was blowing and I love windy days. And I wanted to get out there and walk. So the wind made it cool, which I like. So it was a nice walk. I live on a hill in my town. So if I walk so that I'm walking up that hill to get home, that my Fitbit counts that as three flights of stairs. I know that some of these flowers are upside down, but I don't think it really matters. So I was so busy yesterday and I was going up and down my stairs, you know, working on those um, journal kits that I was putting together. I was getting, getting something, getting this or that and looking for fabrics, looking for laces and trims and up and down and up and down all day and then I took my walk and walked up the hill I, and I strive for 10 flights of stairs a day on my Fitbit. I had I think it was um, 24 flights of stairs yesterday so yay me. I try to keep active today too. You know when you're just sitting when your job is sitting at your craft room table, sometimes it's hard to remember to get your steps in, but my Fitbit um, buzzes on my wrist, vibrates on my wrist at 10 minutes to each hour if I haven't done um, 250 steps for that hour, just to remind me to get up and move. So I've been kind of ignoring my Fitbit for the winter. <laughs> I wear it. It, I, mostly I was interested in how much sleep I was getting, which was depressing sometimes. But now I want to pay attention to the activity level and do better. I just kind of hibernated this winter. I was depressed and just, you don't get, you're not motivated to do stuff. My grandson was talking about that at breakfast today, that he needs to pray for motivation. I read in my scripture reading this morning, I read about King Solomon, the son of King David, who asked God for wisdom because he had to rule the people and he didn't know how to rule the people. He said, I am just a child. He wasn't. He was a grown man with wives and children. Wives, plural. But he felt like a child who didn't know how to rule the people, but he was wise enough to know that he needed to ask for wisdom, so he did. And so that made me realize that I've, I've been very uh, confused about what I need to do in my life in, in all areas, and uh, most particularly my business. And I realized that I'm not King Solomon, but I am allowed to ask for wisdom too. The book of James tells us, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask God. And so I am asking for wisdom. And I was talking to my daughter and my grandson at breakfast today, and Adam said he needs to pray for wisdom and motivation. He is a procrastinator. He's um, 12 and a half. He's a charming boy to be around most of the time. Love him to pieces. His brother is eight. Going on eight and a half pretty soon, I think. And he's the one I'm going to have this afternoon. And we call him Tigger because he is so full of energy. He's bouncing all the time. He cannot sit still. But he is a joy. Most of the time. 
They all have their moments, don't they? You've met Teddy in videos. You've met Adam in videos. More recently, he hasn't wanted to be in any of the videos. He's getting to be a teenager. He'll be a teenager in June. That's a pretty cover. Okay, I think I'm done with Mod Podging for the moment. I have to let them dry and then do the other side of them. So I'm going to do some work on pages. So I'm gonna turn the video off and move over to the other table and maybe bring you with me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.